Hello and uh, welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And yeah, this one is uh, Gilligan's Gold, which was released by Ocean in 1980 bollocks, I can't fucking remember. It was either 84 or 85. Now, I think this is an arcade conversion. Um, at least, it plays very much like an old arcade game that I remember. Not particularly fondly, but I do remember it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's a platform gamer, which gives you the impression that it's fairly simple. Believe me, this game is not simple at all. This is pretty tough. Alright, so, uh, let's get a game underway, and, uh, well, we'll show you what this is all about. So, you are Gilligan at the bottom here, and the idea is to get these sacks of gold up into your wheelbarrow. Now, the problem is, I've got to drop that sack. Um, you have these two, uh, I don't know who they are, constantly coming after you and they are quite relentless so you well you've got to be on the move a hell of a lot because um, well a lot of the time they will uh, get you into like, a dead end so you, you've got no way of escaping or they will run extremely fast like this cunt is now, see, and I've got no way, I've got to drop the sack again. But there are a few things laying around that you can use to help you. But, uh, yeah, I had no fucking chance there. The first is, uh, the first thing that you can use to help you out is this pickaxe here, which if you uh, hit them with it, it stuns them for a while. You also need the pickaxe for uh, a part in the uh, next level. So we drop that in, so we've got our bonus there. If you do not uh, get a... Uh, we'll go to the next screen. But if you do not get that bonus, or uh, if your bonus you know, goes to zero, because you haven't been able to pick up any uh, pickaxes or any sacks or whatever. I'm about to croak it, yeah. That cart that was following behind me, if it hits you, you lose a life. In fact, you lose a life a hell of a lot. Anyway, uh, what I was talking about, the uh, pickaxes, yes, there's a... You can see a yellow wall on the previous level. Um you have to use a pickaxe to get through it. Uh, now these carts, if you uh, press fire there so you are hanging off from that hook and if you don't fuck up uh, releasing it and actually press fire when the cart is underneath you, you can ride on the cart and those two uh, fuckers who are chasing you around um, they can't touch you while you're on that cart. Which is fine, except it just means you can't really do fuck all else uh, until you jump off it. Now, other ways of stopping the... Uh, these two are chasing you around uh, include what i sort of shown you there. I'll show you now. Dropping sacks on their heads. So that... Uh, yeah, that stuns them, but they don't stay stunned for very long. I got fucking lucky there. Now my bonus, as you can see, is going down and down and down. If that reaches zero, you lose a life. So you've got to get uh, a sack in that barrow fairly quickly. I'm not gonna fucking make it. Uh, there are three screens which uh, you can. Uh, go to each screen whenever you like. Um, what I really like to do is 
clear out a, um, a level before going on to the next one if I can. So there you go. That's to uh, use the uh, pickaxe on him. The trouble is the pickaxe now disappears. So you, you can't just keep grabbing, you know, axe after axe. So we'll get in the lift. So at least it takes us down and away from that cunt. So I wanted to use this pickaxe to break through that wall. Now I'm at a dead end. Yeah, there is nothing I can do now. I think that's game over. Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh... I didn't do a very good job of explaining the game at all in that go. That was a pretty terrible go, even by my standards. I've always been hopeless at this game. I did have it back in the day. Um, I re rather stupidly, um, the first time I played this, it was on the uh, Soft Aid uh, compilation, but I didn't have the Soft Aid compilation. And I thought it was alright, so um, I bought the game as a standalone game. And I paid, I think it was either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine uh, for it. When I could have just bought the Soft Aid compilation for four ninety nine, which also came with nine other games. So yeah, that was a real smart move. That I did then buy the Soft Aid compilation um, a few weeks afterwards. So I ended up with this game twice. Anyway, right, so uh, let's uh, get on the way again. So, so you, you really can't hang around. So, fuck it, it doesn't help that the, the fire button is not all that sensitive. So you've got to be uh, stationary when you press fire. Otherwise it acts like you haven't done anything and now I'm fucked and I'm already in a dead end. Which happens to you a hell of a lot. Now thankfully your bonus goes back up to uh, 4,000 each time you lose a life. So let's try and get at least one fucking sack into uh, this... Uh... Oh, fuck's sake! Yeah, this is going well. So I'm trying to move the barrow, but yeah, you've got to be stationary before you can pick up anything. And likewise before you can put anything down. Now what I'm hoping is that, uh, there you go, so I've got that one in there. I'm hoping that uh, bloke over here seems to be a bit fucked up. He's like, he's stuck there. Hopefully he, he'll continue to be stuck there. Darn. Fuck it, and he's starting moving again. <sighs> and now I'm... <sighs> it wasn't fucking moving, because I hadn't gone all the way down the fucking ladder. <sighs> so I can't... What the fuck is going on? I mean, surely I can at least show you the third fucking screen. Well, while they're both out, I'll grab that sack and actually get, you know, two sacks in this uh, fucking barrow. Oh, you are fucking cunting me around! So, right, so we grab that sack. I could get the lift, but I will. So, right, that's it. Now I'll wait for the, oh, I was going to say I'll wait for the lift to come back, but that's not a good idea because that cunt's there. And he's now going to stay in there and wait for me, so I'll jump on the cart, there we go. So that's what happens when you ride the cart. So they're uh, chasing after me, but they can't get me while I'm on here. Mind you, if they're going to just, you know, drop down there for the hell of it, then, you know, they're quite welcome to do that and all.
Alright, so we'll take you to the third screen at last. As you can see, getting through the third screen is uh, not easy. You've got to hope like fuck that one of those people don't turn up behind you. At least here, I can actually get some of the uh, sacks of gold into the fucking uh, cart. Not many, got one. Oh, bollocks, he's gonna fucking... So, let's uh, get on with the uh, review. Uh, what do I think of the game? Well, uh, graphically, um, it's not awful. I mean, I've, I've seen far worse. I have to get him on the horizontal. I also have to get him before the axe disappears. Um, so yeah, for the time, I think it must have been uh, 84 this came out. And it came out before Impossible Mission, because I'd say, I, I think the graphics looked okay for, for the time before Impossible Mission then came along and that just, just blew everyone away. Um, because I've now got to go over to the third screen because the, the cart is all the way over there. And I've got to get there before this cunt shows up. Okay, that's handy. Oh, you fucking cunt! So anyway, yeah, graphically it's, it's, it's fine, it's nothing remarkable. I mean, they are quite basic, but uh, the animation's there, it's quite fluid in the uh, movements and everything, so yeah, I can't mark down the graphics any. Sound, uh, the music is annoying, uh, you know, it's really not all that. Let's see if I can break through that wall at the bottom there. No, I can't, because those two fuckers are there. I could be in trouble here. Yeah, where's the other one though? Uh, yeah, so sound effects, I mean, well, there aren't any sound effects, it's just the music throughout. Yeah, you gotta run. But now I'm stuck here, and that fucker is... Oh, okay. Grab this. I hope to fuckery that this lift. Uh, that's alright, he stopped in the lift. What the fuck did he do that for? But now the bonus is at zero, and I fucking lost a life because of that. Fucking thing. <sighs> okay, so, um. Yeah, graphics are okay, uh, sound effect, well, the, the audio, which is just the music, is a bit irritating. There are no other, no actual sound effects in the game. And the gameplay itself, um, it's not bad, but as um, I'm certainly uh, doing a good job of showing, it's fucking hard. Uh, it's one of those games that uh, looks like it should be, you know, a fucking piece of piss. But it fucking well ain't. It's a properly fucking difficult game. So, um... I wouldn't score it massively, especially with things like that, which really fucking irritate you. And I wanted to get the lift to go back down, but no. So, yeah, there's uh, a lot of things in it which are rather annoying, shall we say. 
but I mean, it, it, yeah, it's. I've played worse. Let me put it that way. Um, that's probably a. That's about as close to being complimentary as I can get with uh, with this game. It it does have a lot of things in it that irritate you, like trying to put the uh, sack in the uh, wheelbarrow and your bonus runs out, so you lose a fucking life. It's essentially a timer thing. Or trying to put the sack in the barrow and the uh, it drops it instead. Let's see where it's left it. Oh, let's put it back where it fucking was. So I can't now go down and get this one because, yeah, he's going to be there. And, well, I'm another. What the fuck is he doing? I don't matter, the two of them are coming after us now. So I score it 3 out of 10 because uh, it's fucking difficult. It has some issues that make it very annoying, such as trying to put the sacks into the uh, uh, cart and for some reason throwing them down a bloody great uh, mine shaft instead. And stupid things like uh, losing a life because your bonus ran runs out. it's also fucking difficult so uh, I don't mind you know games being challenging but fucking hell give us a fucking chance I'm gonna have to drop it on him which means I've now got to go back and get it It really doesn't help the fact that he moves so slowly when he's got the sack. better goes because the last sack there I can't get I've got to enter it from this uh, side right, there we go. the other thing yeah, I maybe someone can uh, answer me uh, this one on the uh, soft aid version uses the Nova Load fast loader. If you bought the game on its own it uses the bog standard burner loader. Um, it plays the uh, song A Policeman's Lot is not a happy one. Why is it playing that piece of music? Of all the pieces it could play, why that one? Alright, so he's stuck. So am I because I I left the fucking cart on the other screen and my bonus is going to run out before I can go back there and get it. As it is, I'm now at a dead end because yeah. There you go.
So, uh, summary then, once again, uh, I'm just going to lose my last two lives because this game's starting to get on my tits. Uh, graphics are okay, but very basic. Uh, the audio is a bit irritating. The music's quite... I find the music quite annoying. And uh, the gameplay is okay, but I think far too hard, and it's not helped by some annoying features. So, yeah, 3 out of 10 for that one. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's Gilligan's Gold for you. So that brings this uh, review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.